Hello all, it is Ragarav. I am back again and today is a Monday and therefore we have a new release of a video from Firehose. And this one is called 0.2.1 Patch Preview and it's about oops all concrete is almost here which is the new textures for the base building parts. So we've got Joey today, let's have a listen to what he's got to say and see if I have anything to add. Hey, what's up? It's Joey Firehose Games, and I'm here again with this week's update for Tectonica. This is the patch preview for version 0 0.2.1, uh, the Oops All Concrete update. This is our first update pack, which I'll get into that later on in the video, why and how we're doing these update packs. But for now, this is the first one we're doing, and welcome to 2024. If you didn't see last week's video, uh, we're pretty excited to be doing these updates, and I'm really excited to get into what they actually feature. But if you're with us typically, and you know how this works, if you get a patch preview video, the patch is imminent. Uh, we're slated to launch the Oops All Concrete Update version 0.2.1 tomorrow, January 16th. Woohoo! So tomorrow. And that also um, answers my question as to whether Tectonica did an update without me seeing, and I just haven't got to them yet. They've not been added. Coming out tomorrow, guys. Wonderful. 2024. Uh, it will be heading to Steam. I think it's going to be heading to Microsoft roughly the same time. Um, it hits Xbox based on that SERP process. You're all familiar by now. We'll let you know as soon as it's live on our Discord, uh, but please bear with us there. It's coming. So let's talk about Oops All Concrete. There's actually a fun trailer that we're going to be preparing. Pre preparing we're actually preparing it now it's been prepared probably by the time you're watching this time is an illusion uh the trailer will be available tomorrow it's a small trailer we actually had a lot of fun with it and it's not what we normally do and we hope you like it so be sure Ooh, to check so on getting YouTube a new trailer and, and post tomorrow when we actually get the patch notes up for you to check out uh, there will be a new trailer there for the oops all concrete update um you're gonna hear me saying oops all concrete a lot <laughs> i hope that's cool i mean too bad doesn't matter i'm gonna be saying it so let's talk about the oops all concrete pieces the all concrete variants that join the game um, with version 0.2.1 these pieces are all going to be accessed in game via the variant menu they are not behind any unlocks um, oh, other excellent. than you know the pieces themselves i guess once you have so the, the, piece, the relevant piece in your inventory and i'll talk about the 13 pieces that are that have the all concrete variants with this update but once you have it in your inventory you can actually just access the all concrete variant straight from the variants menu um, if you've never seen that before if you're on your uh, keyboard and mouse which is how i typically play uh, the variant menu is on v so press v and you pop open the variant menu and you can jump to different flavor uh if you've been playing a while guys like i have been my variants weren't on the weren't on a specific key at all um i i had to actually go in and map mine manually so if you find that you, if v is not working just make sure you go into the keyboard controls and remap those i found uh having r shift r and control r for the three different options was my easiest way of doing things uh obviously xbox controllers you have a different way of doing it anyway let's get on with the video of the same piece it's how you get mirrored versions of some pieces and it's also how you get the different plants uh we're using the same thing for the all concrete pieces which i'll, I'll get into what those are here in just a second but in the variance menu totally free it's it's not going to cost any additional tech uh once you have the piece in your inventory you have access to the all concrete version in addition to the standard version so the 13 pieces that are getting all concrete updates i'm going to read them off here and show you what they look like in list. game now right so there's the calisite beam um in the one by one three by one and five by three flavors there's the calisite pillar one by one one by three one by five there's the calisite wall three by three five by three and five by five and then there's the calisite wall cutaway that's the arch uh that's two by two three by three five by three and five by five to give you a sense of what these pieces actually feel like in game, Have I, seen that um, one by one I went one? ahead and I built two of the same so. wall. So literally I swapped out the pieces one by one in order to give you the all concrete flavors, um, just to kind of give you a sense. So here's a version with the standard pieces and here's that same exact wall with the all concrete pieces. 
Ah, so we can't just change the variant in place then. That's a shame. That's a question I wanted to know. Um, but if he had to swap them all out, I assume we can't just point at it and say swap variant. That's that's a pain, but never mind. Corporate needs you to find the differences between what this, is this picture and this picture. Intel has told oh, us there are the at least seven. I thought I'd gone into an advert. Okay, I already see one. Give him. Okay. I think it looks much cleaner, and I actually prefer it. To be honest, I'm yeah, kind I, of I Star like Wars nerd, but it looks like uh, you know maybe like something you'd see in Mos Eisley. To be honest, and wow, I just said those words. So let's talk a little <laughs> bit more about what else Star is in this Wars update fan. beyond the all concrete pieces. Uh, we've given you some patch. Uh, notes tomorrow they'll detail them with bug fixes and any known issues there are some of those uh, but in terms of actual content that you're going to experience we've decided to put a ton of base building pieces in some new chests near victor you will find these base building pieces in chests regardless of if you're starting a new game or picking up an old save so don't sweat it right if you're coming to this you have it or unlike me where he just brought them all from X-Ray, or from the places where you scan the wall down and then took the wall back to X-Ray. New save that you started with the base building update, or you have a, a, an old save that you started way back when the game launched, or somewhere in between now and then, you'll still get access to these pieces at Victor that'll be waiting for you and the new chests that are there. Um, if you walk up to Victor's front porch, which is <laughs> what I call this space, if you walk up to Victor's front porch, you'll actually see the new chests, and inside the chest, there's a ton of stuff. Um, there's actually kind of a nice pile here for you why do we put these here well we heard from that players one that base building pieces? pieces are kind of i'm sure i haven't found any of those yet and there's some in there tucked a little bit too far into the game um if you're familiar with tectonica and you play a lot you probably get to the base building pieces within uh, five hours let's say that's when you first start scanning and maybe you're starting to build some of the base building pieces um you know by now that you can pick up pieces by just entering an abandoned facility and scanning the crap out of it uh but for some players they kind of wanted an introduction to these pieces sooner and we wanted them to be able to engage with the base building stuff like almost right off the bat so the game flow now is you beat the lead a tutorial space right you learn kind of the core loop of tectonic of, of scanning and upgrading your tech via the tech tree and the research cores and the pts and then we dump you into victor and the, the first time that you inspect victor you get hit with these chests that give you a ton of base building parts so we hope it's like kind of stumbling on a, a box of of unused fresh legos you know you're gonna get there and 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 want to be building stuff right away and maybe you'll build some cool bases in that starting cave near victor I don't know, we can't wait to see what you do. Um, so why and how are we doing these update packs? So stepping back from the Oops All Concrete update and talking more broadly about these more smaller incremental packs, um, I kind of wanted to talk to you about the, the why we're doing them and and how we're doing them and how they're impacting our overall production schedule. The good news is, is they're really not impacting it that much, or at least not in a way that, that players will perceive, but in a way that actually helps us quite a bit. Um, so why are we doing this? Well, if you were with us at launch and then you waited until the base building update, that was roughly five months between like when we gave you uh, brand new stuff to play with. That we had the two quality of quick. life updates in between the launch and the base building update, and they were awesome. They added in-game metrics um, and lots of other stuff, but those updates didn't really provide like new stuff for you to play with as the player. And we were thinking like, well, we really want to find a way to introduce new content to players at a faster clip without really hurting our production timeline and making it tougher for our devs to actually make the game and grow it at a, at a good pace. So that's where these update packs came into play. Um, the idea is that we take systems that already exist in the game, the systems that are implemented and tested by pretty much every single person on our team, right? So let's take base building as an example here because that's what the concrete patch, uh, the concrete update really applies to. So if we consider base building, this was a brand new system that required work from design for, for initial design, right? Um, it required narrative work. It required our narrative team to build quest systems and, and actual dialogue and voice uh, for this. It required a ton of engineering to put into place the smart snapping system that you've seen, um, how like actual building comes together in game. All of that relied on engineering, the menus, the variations menus, engineering again. And then also it, it required art time. Art had to design all of the pieces. And it also, 
required QA, right? So QA had to test everything and make sure that everything functioned as intended. The weird thing about game dev that maybe a lot of players don't realize, although I would imagine a lot of our players probably know this because we tend to be like in the software design and engineering space already, but game development doesn't happen all at once, right? The base building pieces weren't simultaneously being worked on by art, engineering, and design, and QA, right? That all happened over the span of several months with teams drifting off to other projects as they were able to like move on from their tasks per production's requirements, right? They could go to other parts of the game and actually work on stuff that was coming in 0.3 or maybe even 0.4. So production sort of dictates where... 0.4 confirmed what's in it our dev devs are working on any given project in the timeline so how does that apply to the update packs well the idea is that we already have this base building system in place the hard part of the engineering work and the design work and the the, the initial ui work that's all done so our art team they've already done all the work that they need to do for stuff that our, our engineers are working on now and our art team has more time. And so they, with very little engineering overhead, are able to put together update packs like concrete. So our dev team wins because pressure is being taken off of engineering as we're sort of upgrading already existing systems. Um, our art team wins because they can work on newer stuff while also kind of supporting the older stuff that's already in game and our players win right you guys get to see a more constant cadence of new content and things to play with these patches are way smaller right? we're using them as an opportunity to sneak in some bug fixes and some critical path design changes that will happen with these small updates but they're smaller on purpose because we want our engineer and design team to have more time to build the much bigger updates. Version 0.3 is still on pace. We have an internal deadline that we're looking to hit. I'm not ready to share that yet, but think months, right? It's it's months away, but we're still on target to hit it and okay, we'll still be a nice score. update, but we're gonna be able to give you these smaller content packs in between now and then to keep Tectonica alive and keep it living and breathing as a, a game that's getting changes that you, the player, can actually feel and see. And our hope also is that with these smaller updates, it gives you more bite-sized ways to consume the new pieces in Tectonica, uh, no pun intended with the base building pieces. Uh, the content packs may change. It might not always be base building related. It, right now, it likely will be because that's the latest, greatest system that we've put in. But there are other systems that we can play with. You might see some, some content updates that will apply. What base building parts would you like to see? Uh, let me know down in the comments and if you want whatever kind of textures you'd like to see, perhaps a, a fully metal texture, glass. Glass walls would be great. I specifically to equipment like the mole maybe, I'm just spitballing, I don't know if that's confirmed yet. Or we might update existing parts, like we do have a, a light update kind of that we're kicking around in our minds of like, hey, I think players might like some more lights. So stay with us. I, I hope that, that that kind of sheds one thing with lights that I've wanted is I want um, some chains or ropes or something to hang things from the ceiling. Uh, so that could be used for the plants, for the lights, etc. That I would really like to see, you know, those strip lights they've got. If you could hang them with a, a, a rope or a chain at either end, I think that would look awesome and give us some great opportunities some light on how we make decisions about these smaller updates and, and how we're trying to make Tectonica more fun for you, our players and our community, right? We want you folks to feel um, feel the, the, the work that's being done at all times. And, and this is a good way for that to happen. Uh, please, if, if, if you have some thoughts about this, let us know. You can sound off below, obviously, in the comments. You can join our Discord. It's discord.gg slash Tectonica. Uh, we're super active there. And as always, I'm It's Joey, and there's also Lauren as Leftmost Puddle. The patch drops tomorrow, so let us know what you think about that once you actually get a chance to play with the all-concrete pieces. And, yeah, if you like these updates... I don't, I've never said this before, but subscribe here on YouTube. Um, I think that, you know, we're building a community here. We're really excited that you're with us. And we look forward to posting these every week because it's an opportunity to hear from you guys. Whilst he's saying that, it's a good opportunity for me to say, don't just watch me. Go and watch this on Firehose's uh, channel as well. Help support them and grow them. And 
Joey has mentioned a lot about all the other teams that do work, but he didn't mention much about the marketing guys. You know, Joey and Lauren, the community guys too. They, they, you know, they're doing fabulous work, and we get all these wonderful videos each week from them, as well as the streams that they do that I can't watch, unfortunately, most of the time. But yeah, check them out. Links are down below, and uh, yeah, support Firehose. So. Thank you, thanks for playing Tectonica, and we'll see you next week with another update. Okay guys, well, if you've enjoyed me going through this one as well, there wasn't much to talk about in this one today. I had a few comments there, but uh, yeah. If you like these, please let me know in the comments below if you like me reacting to uh, these videos that come out. If you don't, I'd also like to know. But otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye all.